a very good morning students namaste i am dr shruti today we will going to discuss about the challenges faced by the training managers now the first challenge is uh, that dealing with the change now it is very much important to understand that the organizational change is more common than ever so dealing with the change is due to the mergers acquisitions technology change and the budgets and the staffing of the um, of the, the of the manpower is the top challenges uh, so that's the basic reason that they need to face the challenges uh, and the training managers need to face the challenges all the time the second one is the developing the leaders uh, many work environment are more complex diverse and demanding it is crucial for the organizations to develop the leaders in every level uh, at every level uh, from the common front lines to the ceo or uh, to support their success so it is a very big challenge for develop for developing the leaders in the workplace now the third point that is engaging the learners uh, generally uh, it is very often that the urgent task for the priority seems to win out so it is a challenge uh, to get the learners to attend actively participate and follow through the whole program so that is also very important to understand or engage in the engage the learners in the throughout the session the next one is delivering the constant training when the company is is global or geographically uh, 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 widespread it increases the difficulty of providing the constant uh, cons consistent training so the most common challenge is to include the geographic limitations increased cost uh, increased cost and language barriers translation issues and virtual training methods so that the basic problem is how to deliver the training on the real time and on the basis of the um, uh, the uh, available resources so that's what the another challenge faced by the training manager and the next one is uh, tracking the skill application discovering the stickiness or the sustainability of the training program it is the challenging at the best so generally the professionals must and implement an effective way to ensure the skills are being learned and applied in the real work environment so that is also a tracking the skill application have the skill, those skills which has been identified in the training session are applied by the um, are applied by the um, people who are taking the training or the employees who are taking the training or not the next one is uh, instilling the conflict management skills now this is very much important because uh, the uh, most of the you know the office hours uh, people waste in the conflict uh, managing the conflict or raising up the issues so it is very much important for the training learners handle out the conflict and the, um, which can be difficult and which can be worse in this situation so the conflict management is a critical skill and can be deeply affect the organization success and uh, a success and growth next one is quantifying the training effectiveness it is very much important for the all the uh, training managers to identify whether they have imparted the training was good or not if they have not provided that that kind of training which was important for the employees and for the uh, people who are in the training session their uh, training effectiveness is then next one is improving the learning effectiveness Uh, training learners effectively um, is important. Uh, so there are so many types of the uh, to topics to cover, and many requires the unique delivery methods in in order to uh, in order for solid skill development to occur. So it is important to ask the right question, identify the desired outcome when planning in each training session. Next one is to demonstrating the value to the leadership. it is uh, it is the task of the senior leaders to determine which activities um, are worth finding it is it is paramount for the professionals to identify and to demonstrate the value of the leadership now next one is adapting the training to the mini leads uh, traditional technology uh, training methods uh, may not be work for the mini leads so this uh, generation may be a technologically proficient but they also tend tend to lack uh, the important skills such as communication diplomacy and the uh, relationship building so this is all for the day students i hope i discussed all the challenges very uh, clearly if you find it 
difficult or if you find any kind of query related to this particular video please do let me know in the comment section or you can talk to me in the live session as well thank you so much students have a great day